Salutations to all you nerds out there. This is Project Nerd, where nearly everything is reviewed and discussed. Our show today is Steam Gems, where we delve into Steam and see what kind of nuggets of awesome content you may have missed out on the first time you went through the Steam page. Now, today marks the very first video in a monumental task I've set out for myself. I am going to review every single game made by a studio. That studio being Suspicious Developments, which will give me an unparalleled amount of content. How much, you ask? Three videos? Maybe a fourth follow-up vid? So yeah, let's, uh, let's look at their first release, uh, Gunpoint. As far back as I can remember, question plagued my mind. Like a joke without a punchline. Niche you can't scratch. That last ice cube you're trying to get out of the glass but just couldn't goes round and round the bottom because of some surface tension bullshit. I just couldn't figure out why this game was called Gunpoint. I mean, you don't even get a gun until at least halfway through the game. So, a little background before we dive into the main event. Suspicious Developments is a small studio composed mostly of the talents of Tom Francis and John Roberts. Tom mostly working on the programming, writing, and sound design, while John supplies most of the art design. Gunpoint was their first major release on June 3rd, 2012. I graduated high school barely a month ago at that time, back then. Anyway, like all of their other work, Gunpoint is a puzzle game at its core, but it's fundamentally different to all of its other games. You'll see what I mean in the other videos. But for now, Gunpoint is a puzzle stealth platformer where you take your grizzled detective, Richard Conway, on a tale of murder, lies, espionage, betrayal, and knocking yourself and others through plate glass windows. A lot of knocking yourself and others through plate glass windows. Your main tools of the trade are a pair of bullfrog hyper trousers, patent pending, that you can make your jump height dwarf any Italian plumbers and a, and a hacking device that can hack any hackable device. So you use these tools to infiltrate buildings, avoid or knock out or murderize any guard in your way, and get to the computer to steal or delete the data you know, that you're currently contracted to go after. Now that's pretty much the gameplay. It evolves slightly as you acquire more gadgets and heck, you even get a gun like I was joking about at the very top of this episode. And it adds, certainly adds challenge to the puzzle but honestly, the main game will take you about an hour, three hours, maybe, or even less, as if you're that good at the game, because there's only 20 missions, and most missions take you about uh, a minute, three minutes, if, you, if, you, uh, if you're doing them fast enough and you're doing them correctly. If it, the gameplay was the only factor here, that would only make it kind of an okay game. Like, the fact that you have a super jump, and I do mean a super jump, uh, the fact that you can also hang from walls and ceilings, i.e. Spider-Man from the word go, basically means the platforming in this game is more of a platform, pardon my lack of terms, uh, for the actual hacking puzzles and the gameplay to that. And the platforming itself doesn't really require much actual finesse. But there's more to gun on point than just puzzles and platforming. Where it really shines is in its atmosphere and its writing. The backgrounds are gorgeous noir-style city backdrops, and the foreground pixel art is impressively detailed. Now, it's obviously not as complex and not as impressive, say, something that came out the past couple of years, 2018, 2019, but it was 2012, and it was really good for the time. Also, the soundtrack is very a jazzy noir-style very appropriate, very nice, not tremendously memorable, but very atmospheric and very well crafted. best part of this game, though, has to be its dialogue, though. Oh my god, the dialogue is where this game shines. Now, the game doesn't start you off stereotypically with you getting framed for murder and you're put on a quest to prove your innocence. 
Now, the game starts you off with you falling through a plate glass window because you didn't follow the instructions to your bullfrog pants and basically yeeted yourself out of the apartment window into a nearby office. And then you get framed for murder. Now, my favorite character, though, has to be the police chief and the rival company CEO. Any conversation where you can respond against, Who the fuck are you? with Who the fuck are you? Automatically gets a pass in my book. A couple other lines definitely got me to laugh, and the humor is very dry, very sardonic, very gallows humor, and I just absolutely love that. I'm, I'm sorry, I eat that up. It also does give you a little bit of role-playing to, for your character with a kind of uh, morality system. You get to choose your dialogue and also uh, whether or not you want to play uh, a very stealthy, not even get seen by anyone, or a very just go up to the guy and punch them to their bleeding and dead and continue punching. But whether or not you choose to be Dick Tracy, Murder Hobo Extreme, or Lightfoot McGee's Secret Agent, there's honestly no actual story payoff. Just give you a couple of alternate dialogues and the occasional achievement or two. But it's certainly a nice little cherry on top, and it gives you that little bit of extra role-playing, which is always nice, a little, little attention to detail. Uh, I do have to also mention the achievements. If you have to, if you do absolutely nothing else, you don't even have to buy the game. Just go to the Steam page and look up the achievements, they will give you a riot laugh. It's incredible. My personal favorite has to be the uh, title, Finally Relevant, and where it says, Help justify my early, not entirely wise choice of game name by holding someone at gunpoint with a revolver. So I can definitely offer a recommendation for Gunpoint. It is a solid experience, both as a game and also for its, uh, its dialogue and atmosphere for it. Now, it's currently going for $9.99 on Steam right now, um, which is a decent price. Yes, it is only about a couple of hours, and even in multiple play playthroughs, you're really not going to get, like, a lifetime achievement, like, of something like Skyrim or something. But for $9.99, you're certainly getting your money's worth. If you are patient, you can do what I did and wait for a 75% uh, Steam sale, which happens often for these types of games, uh, and I was able to get it down to a measly 249. But with that, I'm going to wrap things up here. I want to very much thank you so much for watching this video and for sticking around to the very end for it. I hope that you loved it as much as I loved making it. If you would like to follow along and see the other games in Suspicious Developments Library, that would be uh, Morph Blade and Heat Signature. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be able to be the first to see those videos. And while you're there, might as well leave a like and give us a comment as well. What you thought about the video, what do you think of Steam Gems, or just your impressions if you've already played uh, Gunpoint before. But for now, and until I see you again, I've been Danny, this has been Project Nerd, and this has been Steam Gems.